Right, so welcome back to Move With Ben. Um, today is gonna be a 10 minute cool down, longer stretch. So we're gonna be a bit holding the stretches for a little bit longer, a few little stretches post-workout. So um, find a bit of space and we'll get going. So to start with, literally, feet shoulder width apart and then just coming down gently into a squat position, okay? So wherever that is, plant your feet so they're pointing outwards hands rest on the floor, wherever that is right for you, okay? It might be that you're sitting here, it might be that you're able to sit here. Try and think about practicing this one every day because it's a really important one to be able to squat, you know, pain-free and hold it. So you want your chest up and we're just gonna kind of hold here for a few seconds. Just get your breathing under control. Set the intentions for the little stretch we're doing. And then I just want you to come onto your right toe and then gently onto your left, okay? So left to right. Okay, take some good deep breaths. In and out, nice and easy. So whatever you've been up to today, this is gonna to be a nice one to, to um, chill with, to get you kind of, um, get a nice bit of stretching done. I've had a really intense day of training. I'm calling it my triathlon Tuesday training because I'm training for a triathlon in September. So I did a long run this morning and lunchtime I did a lot of cycling as well. So I've got two of the disciplines in today. So I'm actually pretty tired right now. It's taken my, getting my body used to a little bit more in terms of training, right? So from there, just rock it left to right, just still holding here. And then I just want you to stand up tall just fold forward, hands at the back of the car, and then just kind of inch your knee forward and back. So your chin is in towards your chest. And then I just want you to take your right hand to your left ankle, your left hand to your right hip, and just have a little twist there. Look up towards the sky. Hang out here for a few seconds. And then slowly repeat that on the other side. Nice, okay, so stand up tall from there. We're gonna do some hip circles, so come right the way around. So we'll start with a little bit of um, movement, and then we're gonna go down to the floor for some static holds, okay? So the light seems to follow me when I move from the, um, I sit right the way around, big circle, one more time the other way. Brilliant, okay, I want you to start wide and then just drop that knee right the way down to the floor. And then take your hands behind your back with the head, head nice and long, so take a stretch for the tricep just hold in this, okay? Lunge forward a little bit, so you feel the stretch in the left hip in this area. Nice, and then we're gonna sit forward, okay? So it's gonna be a hip opener into a hamstring. So come forward and then just sit. So dynamic movement, so in, and then sit, in. Again, really take the intention to how the body's feeling right now. How is the breathing? Are you tight in, there? Tight in any particular areas? And just really slowing down. In and touch, sit, nice. On the next one, I want you to hold it for a few seconds, okay? Just hold and then encourage the forehead towards that knee. Take your toes if you can. Nice, we're gonna from there. Slowly come up, forward fold. Okay, so your legs are straight, hands just touching the floor if you can. And just dangle in here. Take a few breaths here. So you feel the stretch inside the knee, in the inner thigh area. So then slowly come round to the other side, okay? So knee touches, this time slightly different strip, 
Hands lower, part of the back, open up your chest and shoulders. And then I want you to look over your left shoulder. Perfect, then over the other side. We're gonna repeat what we did on the other on the other side, so sit into the hamstring and then open the hip. So just from there, tuck your foot under, sit, and open. Perfect. So nice, steady base. Sit. Feel the stretch back of the leg and then press through. Each time we're thinking about going a little bit further into that hamstring, to hold, repeat. One more time, in, hold, breathe, take a couple of breaths here. Then come from there, we're gonna go for a toe squat. So this one's a really good one if you do, if you're on your feet a lot or if you do a little running, so literally, just rest in here on your toes. Okay, feel the stretch in the Achilles tendon, in the bottom of the foot. And we're just gonna hold it here, okay? Just relax and hold and breathe, okay? You can come up a little bit further if you need to at all. So. Yeah, take it easy, Sam. Um, Take it easy tonight. Hope you feel better tomorrow, and you can give it, give it some on the 10k. But yeah, don't definitely don't beat yourself up if you don't get a time because you can't control the cold. If you're feeling rough, you know it might have an impact. So bear that in mind. You may wake up and feel rough, and it's going to have an impact. And if you have to pull out, for example, you know you can you can pull out and, and try it again. Book in for the next one. It's frustrating, but it's one of those things that you can't control. Okay, a general bit of movement on your toes here, left to right, easy. Let me know how you are tomorrow, and, and if you're able to, to uh, run tomorrow in the 10K, it's one of those things that's a little bit obviously annoying. Tap your feet out, easy circles. Okay, so we're gonna do a similar one for the hip flexor. So you're gonna come up into a high plank, and then lunge your foot wide. Okay, and then open up, and then just put your, thread your arm through, okay? So you might feel a little bit of clicking in the upper back. It's a really nice one for a little bit of upper back mobility, little rotation, particularly if you've been sitting down a lot in a static position where you're not really moving at all. Right, one more. Nice, okay, repeat that. On the other side, so you're lunging your left foot wide of your hand, you're raising your left arm up, your knee is just off the floor, and you're coming your left arm through. You may feel a little click and up. Okay, I want you to do that five times on that side. So just move into it. Yeah, we'll do some hip flexors and glutes now. So this one is a great one. For the hip flexors and we'll we'll do a glute one in a minute. These those two areas are really important. If you've got tight glutes they can pull and affect other areas as can hip flexors so keep them mobile without over stretching is key. Right okay one more this side right through Brilliant, okay, we're gonna do one here. It's gonna be a nice one for, so rest on your stomach. Hopefully you can still see me. I want you to take your right foot and left foot, basically gonna pivot on your hips, okay? So I want you to drive up, kick your feet back, open out the chest and look up. We're gonna hold it for three seconds in. Three, two, one. Hold, three, two, one. Release, okay, three, two, one. Same again, extend up, 
to warm up and release. So the last one, I literally want you to think you're Westlife and you're about to fly, okay? So three, two, one. Flying without wings, up, extend, open your chest, your arms, and slowly come down. We're gonna count to that child's pose, okay? So spread your feet wide, and then just press your arms forward, forehead in towards the floor, and then just have a little bit of movement left to right, and then I just want you to hold it over to your right side, okay? So spread your arms over to your right side, feel the stretch down the left side of the back. Deep breaths into this one, okay? Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, three times. Okay, slowly come over to the other side, repeat that. Okay, real deep, controlled breath. And then if you're comfortable, you can interlock your fingers and place them behind the lower part of the back. So you're opening your chest and then just place your forehead into the floor and then just hold it here. So my hands are now resting my bum. It's a little bit of a, a one to kind of lubricate hip flexors as well. This will help with mobility in there. You might feel that. Okay, so three good breaths here, right? Three deep breaths. Slowly come out and get a rest on the back. So one for the glutes now. Okay, so right foot over your left knee. And then I just want you to take your hand behind the left leg and pull in gently, okay? We're just gonna hold it here. Circle your ankle. So we're gonna hold this one for a little bit longer. So always Almost like you're filling your lungs up, thinking about breathing into the area you are stretching. That way you're going to be able to go a little bit deeper into the stretch and this will help to improve your flexibility. So three deep breaths in through your nose. Always gently thinking about maybe going a little bit further, maybe you can pull your leg a little bit closer towards you or push the knees gently away so my right foot is over my left knee I can gently push my right knee away and then also come up a little bit so your forehead goes towards your ankle three more breaths holding this here you should feel if you've got your right foot over your left knee you should feel this or you you can feel this in the right leg or wherever you can feel it your own body two more breaths Brilliant, okay, from there, I want you to extend your left leg, take your right leg over, take your, place your left hand on your right knee, extend your right arm, and then look over towards your right arm, okay? So looking over, a little bit of rotation for your spine. And then slowly bring it back. Hug your knees. We're going to repeat that on the other side, okay? So the same glute stretch, knees in towards your forehead. So left foot over right knee. Take the hands to the back of the knee, back of the leg. <coughs> and then just relax here. You can circle your ankles as well if you like. Yeah, this is perfect for me to finish the day with the training. I've done a couple. I've done some um, training for the triathlon today, so this is a perfect finish. So this keeps me accountable, and hopefully there's a few people joining as well. That's always a bonus. So take a deep breath in, 
Exhale, think about going a little bit further into that stretch. Gonna have five more breaths, okay? So five more. Nice, last breath. Extend your right leg, take your left leg over, right hand towards your left knee. Extend out, look towards that hand. Brilliant, from there, we're gonna take a little rock just to get into the lower back a little bit. So, we've got one that in yoga is known as happy baby. So I just want you to take the big toe or, or a few toes or your foot, whatever is comfortable. And then you're just gonna hold it here. And if you can, stand up so you're holding it in this position, okay? <coughs> so this is quite a good one to work the back of the body. Also, a bit of relaxation, as relaxated, as relaxated, as relaxing as this position is for you. And then if you, if you if you're comfortable, you can bring your feet a little bit further to this. So this is a slightly different stretch, but you can also do this one where you straighten your legs. Just feel a stretch down the back of the hamstring, really nice hamstring work. Nice, control of breaths. Ease off, circle your ankles. Slowly come to the floor. Come to a seated position. Soles your feet together. And then this is where we're gonna finish. Okay, so sitting up tall. I want you to place your right ear towards your right shoulder. So feel a nice stretch down the side of the head, down the neck area. Breathe into it. Also in the groin. And then over to the other side. Last of all, cross your legs. Sitting up tall, just take 30 seconds of deep breaths in through your nose or in through your mouth. And then exhale, really slow the breath down, but go for deep breathing. Drop, feel the shoulders, notice your shoulders drop towards the floor as you exhale. Two more breaths. Hopefully you're not feeling dizzy at all. Okay, brilliant, thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know how you found it. That is 18 minutes, it was meant to be 10 minutes. I probably should have set a timer on. Um, enjoy your day and I'll see you again next time.